All right, Buck, we've seen some big-time talented quarterbacks enter the league the last two drafts. Going to take Jared Goff out of the question here. He's only played one start. But you look at these other four quarterbacks we have back here. Jameis Winston, Mariota, we've got Wentz, and we've got Dak Prescott. I thought we'd have the question, who would you rather build around? If you could only choose one going into the future, one of these four guys, who would it be? You ready to dig in? Yeah, I'm ready to dig in. This is an exciting class to look at. All right, let's jump up first here and break these guys down on tape. Jameis Winston, the first one we'll get into here, Buck. I'll lead us off. And... One of the things I love about Jameis Winston is for a young quarterback is his ability to manipulate coverage with his eyes. you got a single high safety here. You're going to see this snap right here against Kansas City Chiefs. Watch Jameis Winston hold that free safety, knowing he's got a one-on-one -on -one shot down here at the bottom of the screen to his favorite target, Mike Evans. Hold him for a count and then watch him place this ball beautifully down the sideline, drop it right in the bucket. So he creates the distance That's with nice. his eyes and then makes nice a beautiful throw. throw. That's a nice throw. That's one of the things that James was able to do at Florida State routinely, make big plays, put it in the perfect spot. One of the reasons why we were both excited about him when he entered the draft. All right, Bucky, we got a tough question to answer. Let's keep going through these guys here. Marcus, Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota has made as much development and growth as I've seen in any young quarterback. What I like about him is not only his athleticism, but he's a quick study. At Oregon, didn't play in the center much, so he had to learn how to do all these things. Play action fake. We're going to see Rashard Matthews come over on a deep over route. He reads the coverage, drops it in the perfect spot, perfect location. For young quarterbacks, sometimes it can be tough to turn your back to the defense and relocate your receiver. Marcus Mariota has shown tremendous strides in development being able to execute those things. That's interesting you chose that play, Bucky, because when I watch Carson Wentz with the Philadelphia Eagles, I see him do a lot of similar things that you just mentioned with the Marcus Mariota. Watch the pocket here. Very comfortable, got a clean pocket. Carson Wentz. Not going to worry about that at all. He's going to step right up, very comfortable, make that same kind of a deep overthrow that you just showed, put that ball right on the money. That's actually a small window. I know the defender's far away, but you got to drop that thing in before he gets to the sideline. He can make those intermediate throws with ease. He can make those intermediate throws with ease, and I think the guy who has been really surprised in terms of showing stuff has been Dak Prescott. Here it's all about the pre-snap stuff. You'll see him change the protection, see and read and decipher the disguise, and he's going to get his team in the right play. Here we're going to see Dak Prescott see the safety roll to the middle of the field. Singer has safety. He knows he can work to the bottom. He has a one-on-one -on -one matchup with his number one receiver, Dez Bryant, running a simple slant route. Ball is thrown on time. Not a splashy play, but it's a play that really shows his maturity because he has the poise, the composure, the understanding of the defense to be able to attack it and hit those voids versus the coverage. No, that's outstanding. He has been off the charts good, Bucky, and I don't think you can just point to what he has around him. you got to give him some credit. Now, the challenge we have here is ranking these guys one to four. It's going to be very difficult. I struggle with it. I sent my first order in. I said, no, 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 scratch it. Change it around. Do this one. So before we get to what we think and what the folks at home voted on Twitter, well, we reached out to some people on campus here, some of our other analysts, to see what they had to say. I take Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott and the show the poise. He showed the leadership. Prescott all day. Got an opportunity to work out with this guy. Just a normal guy, man. You saw what he did when he missed that that cup trying to hit that trash can, man. That man went and picked it up. That says a lot about a guy right there, man, regardless on the cameras or watching or not. That Prescott, man, just a natural leader. Not looking for a me guy, looking for a we guy. And that Prescott is definitely a we guy. I'll take Jameis Winston. Um, I think he's been in the pro-style offense his, his entire career. He has a great understanding of, of what it takes to play quarterback at the National Football League level. And he's going to continue to get better. He's only in his second season. It probably would be Dak uh, Prescott just because um, his poise in the pocket, his ability to make plays um, down the field, not only with his arm and making the right throw and taking care of the football, but also with his feet. He's an added element in the running game. And when the game is on the line and you need him to move the ball down the field to put you in scoring situations, to give you an opportunity to win, he's gold. All right, Buck, pretty interesting there, huh? Three votes for, for Dak Prescott, and uh, Jameis Winston picks up one from LT. Yeah, really surprised that everyone is in kind of the Dak boat, particularly because he was a fourth-round pick, and I don't think anyone saw him coming. But it says a lot about his poise, composure, his leadership, and also the fact that he's gotten the Cowboys to a 9-1 record. Yeah, look, the Cowboys record is one thing. His performance in those games is, is, is another. I mean, he's been outstanding off the charts, and especially in those clutch moments. As the guys mentioned, all right, they've gone on the record, Buck. It's, it's now our turn. we got to rank these guys. It was difficult, man. I, I sent in about nine different orders, kept changing it over and over and over again. And, uh, I, okay, I'm done. I, I know my, <laughs> but I want to get yours. What do you have for your You order? know, I really struggle with this one because 
all of these quarterbacks I like coming up to the draft. And so when we look at the board, um, ultimately the thing that led me to put Dak Prescott number one was the poise, the leadership, the way that he has handled the moment, replacing Tony Romo as the leader of America's team. He gets the ball out. He's doing things at the line of scrimmage that is uncommon for a young player. And I just believe Dak, Marcus Mariota, Jameis Winston, Carson Wentz, that's my order. But if you gave me any of those guys, I certainly believe I can build a dynamic offense around any of them. Yeah, I have a feeling that people are going to get fired up on the comments section about this, but I don't think you can go wrong with these guys. In my order, when you look at it, Buck, uh, I have I have Wentz. I have Carson Wentz up there at the very top, and I know you can look at statistics and numbers and wins, all that stuff. I'm putting all that aside, saying who do I want to build around for the future? I look at his all of his traits with his size, his arm strength, his ability to make every single throw, his poise that he's displayed to control everything at the line of scrimmage. They're putting an awful lot on a young player, and I think the ceiling is so high, he's just going to get better and better. I hear reports of him being at the facility every day at 5 a.m., first one in, last one out. I love all that stuff. That's why I gave Wentz a little bit of a nod over Dak Prescott. Although Dak Prescott, I, I'm not going to be as late on Russell Wilson. I liked Russell Wilson a lot, but I always kind of hung to my – uh, clung to my college evaluation, and now you know even with him and Luck, and finally I said just forget it. He's good. I can't. I can't make any excuses anymore. It's, it's so funny. I, guy. So I feel like that about Marcus Mariota because I worried about his ability to transition into the league. But what I've seen, particularly in the last seven games, he's been outstanding. 19 to three touchdown to interception ratio, passer rating well over 100, and what he has done. He's kind of taken to the coaching. We're seeing him do some stuff under center. We're seeing him still do some of the things he did at Oregon. He's a dynamic athlete. He's terrific. And I still have a strong affinity for Jameis Winston and his potential. When you hear the things about his leadership ability, writing a note and talking to his teammates about how he's going to get them out this rut, all the leadership and intangibles are there. I think the big thing that we can be excited for is that we got a next generation of quarterbacks that are going to lead us um, into the foreseeable future and do a great job of replacing Tom Brady and Drew Brees and some of those other quarterbacks that are nearing the end of their illustrious career. Well, you went on record. I went on record. Let's see what the folks uh, at home had to say. We put this poll on Twitter, and uh, and then there it is, Buck. Not a surprise. Dak Prescott getting a lot of votes here. And when you tabulate it all together with our votes as well as Twitter, and we could even throw in the votes of our other analysts, it's it's Dak Prescott is the uh, is the runaway winner here. Yeah, no, it's a surprise. Dak Prescott is a guy. He's kind of the, the the soup of the day, the soup du jour. Everyone is loving what Dak Prescott is delivering. But at some point, we'll get a chance to see if he can continue it. It seems like it. Let's see if he can finish it this year. I have a feeling that somebody at home does not agree with us. <laughs> so I'm going to throw that out there to those that are watching this video. Leave us a comment below. Give us your order for these four quarterbacks. And once again, our apologies to Jared Goff. Once he plays a little bit more, we'll throw him up in the screen and we'll, we'll rank him as well.